Sweet. Hello. Uh, my name is Taylor Williams and I am a senior in bioengineering. I'm here on bioengineering day presenting my poster. Uh, I actually got the awesome opportunity to use my senior design project for the student-run startup that I'm working for called World Care Technologies. And we are working to implement low-resource viral load monitoring in communities around the world. So specifically for this, I decided to focus on automated RNA extraction because I saw that as a huge hurdle to viral load monitoring. How did we get here? Well, with World Care Technologies, we actually started as a global TIES team. And TIES stands for Teams in Engineering Service. And through that, I got to be a part of the Open Viral Load Monitoring team. And that's really how I got started with this project. They gave us awesome advisors um, through the Center for AIDS Research. And we were able to really accelerate our idea. And it was awesome because then we started with the basement, so we got to incubate our idea and really develop the business side of things. I'm really grateful for the Global Ties Department and really for all the resources I've had here at UCSD because we're able to take this product from just an idea to something that we can actually implement in low resource communities around the world. Our technology, we hope we can implement it in hospitals around the world. So ideally we want something where we can input whole blood and just have an output of the viral load range. Um, through this, Patients can get regular viral load tests. So if patient gets, patients can get regular viral load tests, they can actually suppress their symptoms and get the correct medication to stop the spread of HIV. So essentially, there are a few different kinds of antiretrovirals you can take, and they stop the spread, or they stop like different parts of HIV at different components. So one stops HIV from entering the cell, one stops HIV from replicating. And HIV is a really, really interesting virus in the sense that it changes all the time. So you need to monitor the progression of your disease so that you can tell which antiretroviral you need to take. So with our system, you're going to get an output, say it's 2,000 copies per milliliter. Well, that means that your, or your antiretrovirals are not working very well, which means you need to change your medication. Um, and this way, doctors can give patients the information they need at a price they can actually afford with this kind of system. Yeah, so this is our overall system here. Um, we start with whole blood, like I said, and we take it through a series of steps here. Um, our proprietary information is automation and semi-quantification, which we do through our serial dilution chip. Um, and then eventually, like the output, we just want a system where you can input blood and then you get this output of this range, uh, which is semi-quantification, which actually differentiates us from a lot of our competitors who just give binary yes-no diagnostics. We really want to monitor this disease and see how much virus is actually in your blood, which is that semi-quantification component. Um, like I said, for this part, we focused on automated RNA extraction and something that's a little bit unique about what we did is we decided to implement electromagnetic technology and through this we were able to minimize the amount of moving parts which is something that Global Ties really stresses when you're doing humanitarian development. You want something that will satisfy the needs of your users and when it's actually implemented in low resource communities you want it not to fail and I'm really grateful for the Global Ties department in that respect because they taught us about human-centered design and how to actually successfully do humanitarian engineering.